I'm going to be showing you how to install Zabbix 7.0 pre-release on Ubuntu server. This video is going to assume that you already have Ubuntu server up and running installed. I'm not going to get into that. I want this video to be super fast. And we're going to be following the Zabbix install directions, which are quite accurate, though they are lacking the SQL server install portion, which I will be covering. If you need help setting up your Ubuntu server, please reference one of my other videos where I walk you through that. Link will be in the description. Let's get into it. Welcome to Reasonable IT. Here I am on the Zabbix install directions page, link in the description. We're gonna do 7.0 pre-release, Ubuntu 22.04 Jammy, server front end, MySQL on Apache, works good. Let's go ahead and connect to our Ubuntu server. All right, first command, wget command. Copy and paste, 100%. Wow, that was really fast. It looks like that went through. All right, let's try the next command. Let's get sudo in front of that, repaste the command. It's gonna ask me to authenticate. And it looks like that went through. Let's proceed with next command, apt update. Let's do a sudo apt update. Give that a minute to run. We'll take that as a win. Let's go to the next command, which is installing the Zabbix server MySQL front end, or Zabbix front end. Whoops. Let's go ahead and get a sudo in front of that as well. Looking good. This should only take a minute or two, and I will check back in with you guys once it's completed. Okay, so this popped up, newer kernel available. Currently running kernel version, blah, 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 which is not expected version, blah, blah, blah. Eh, okay. Here, going to leave the defaults selected. I hit tab on my keyboard and then enter for okay. Okay, that finished, looks good. We're gonna move on to creating the initial database. Don't think SQL's installed on here by default. So it is not installed. The Zabbix directions assume you already have SQL Server installed. Let's head over to my website, blog. We'll do a search for Zabbix. And I'm gonna reference some of my old commands. We're gonna have to run these commands to install it. Yes, links to this blog will be in the description uh, where you can find all the necessary commands. All right, just give it a few minutes to run through and let it do its thing. Newer kernel available, okay. Tab, okay, just accepting the defaults there, guys, and moving on. Oh, what the hell is going on here? Hello? No, my browser crashed. Thanks, Edge. I love you. Restart our tabs after crash. And now that we've installed Michael, now that we've installed Michael Myers, <laughs> is what I was about to say. Now that we've installed MySQL server, we can proceed to start the service with this command here. So now we can proceed with these commands. We're gonna copy that first one. And this will enter us into the MySQL prompt. Let's try getting sudo in front of that. We're in the MySQL prompt and we're just gonna proceed with these SQL commands here, one by one. Yeah, it took that. So we're gonna create the database user here and you wanna put your password in between these single quotes I'm just gonna do Zabbix and hit enter. And we're gonna grant this user the correct privileges. Grant all privileges, da 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 da, looks good. Set up global login bin trust function. All right, moving right along. I'm gonna run this zcat command. Okay, so we'll just run it with sudo in front for good measure. When it asks you for your password here, you do not enter the server password, rather you enter your Zabbix database password, which in my case was Zabbix. And if I'm not mistaken, this is going to import the initial schema data. Yes, sir. And guys, this step takes a while and is confusing. As I've mentioned in past install videos, but just let this run. It'll spit you back out at the command prompt once it's completed. 
There is no confirmation when it completes. I'll get right back with you guys. Okay, and we are back. As you can see, it completed. Brought me straight back to the command prompt. And that took probably three or four minutes to complete for me, guys. Now, let's go ahead and finish this up with a couple more SQL commands. So, let's go back into the MySQL prompt with the sudo MySQL uroot minus p. Server password. We're going to set the global log bin trust function creators to zero and quit configure database for zabbix server we're going to edit a file here and as you all know i'm a vim fan so i'm going to do sudo vim should be right around here then here we go i for insert we're going to uncomment that and i set my password my database password just as Zabbix. Escape colon WQ for right quit to save changes. And we're going to start the Zabbix server and agent processes with these commands. All right, let's start the next one. And with the sudo in front. Okay. And I think we are good. So let's test the front end, which is going to be your server IP address ending in forward slash Zabbix. Yay. And there you have it. Now you can enjoy your Zabbix 7.0 pre-release on your Ubuntu server. If you have any questions, you need any further help, Go ahead and leave a comment and we'll do our best to help you out. If you are a business and you're looking for any IT support, give us a call. We do professional IT support services at affordable rates. If you would like to help support the channel further, please like and subscribe. It really helps out. Feel free to check out our eBay store or visit our Buy Me A Coffee at buymeacoffee.com forward slash reasonable IT. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.